everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We have the 8235R on the John Deere chisel plow. We're about to go out and start chisel plowing. We've gotten uh, some done so far. Travis and Dad have been chiseling um, at the main farm. We're about to go out to my place and chisel down the corn stalks that we didn't bale. So yesterday I went through and checked the fences around the field out at my place. I weaned the calves off and I let the cows out into the field. So now we're going out there to chisel down the corn stalks. Hopefully the cows have at least gone through and gotten all the cobs or all the ears that uh, we left out in the field. But for now, um, we're trying to get as much chisel plowing done as possible. It is a dry spell right now. Um, however, the ground has just gotten dry to where we can uh, do any kind of tillage. So in the next 24 hours, it's gonna be pretty busy trying to get all of this done. We're trying to get as much done as we can before we get any moisture, what they're calling for tomorrow. So uh, in, a, in our next video, we'll likely be going out and uh, watching some ripping. I've got a ripper here at the main farm and I'm hiring someone to custom rip for me. So uh, our next video will likely be about that. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. Um, it should be interesting. So we're heading out to my place right now. I've got all the field gates closed, so I gotta go through them. We've got the auto steer guidance enabled on the 8235R. So I went out and BT'd a little bit last night. Actually, I did all of our BT'ing and uh, I tried out the auto steering on the 8235R. I've used it a little bit here and there in the past, but I definitely think having the auto steer in this tractor really helped me finish a lot faster. And uh, I had a lot less overlap last night when I was BTing as well. So I'm excited to have the auto steer enabled on this. Um, it's not it's not super accurate. We're just running loss. So it's basically optimal for just doing tillage, which you know, you don't need too crazy precision when you're doing tillage. You can overlap some. So we're heading out to my place right now. I gotta go through the field gates. Hopefully the cows stay out of our way. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get some chisel plowing done. Once I'm done here, I might go to docks and do that field because since they are calling for rain precipitation tomorrow or the next day, um, I would really like to get that field done. It's only 24 acres of mine that I need to hit. Uh, the rest of my corn I hit last night with the BT. Let's get to it. We're going to start down by the fence line and just work our way up. So here's our green star screen. We're going to go ahead and turn on the auto steer by pushing A. It lights up this little corner of the circle down here. Let's us know that our auto guidance is enabled. I'm not going to be using it on the first pass because I'm going to do the outside edge and on the way back I should be able to use it. I already put all my dimensions and everything of the chisel plow in so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and start.
I just got to docks and lo and behold, the airflow just pulled in. So they're putting fertilizer down. I'm gonna hold off on chiseling this field anymore until they're done because I would rather wait until they get the fertilizer on before I chisel it. So I'm gonna go see if I can bother dock at all. Oh boy, semi's trying to get up here. Things are gonna get hairy. Um, if you guys got a chain, I mean, we can unhook. I can pull them up the airflow, I just don't have a chain. Oh, I don't got one either. Doc, you gotta up your Christmas game. The neighbors are showing you up. Problem. Oh no. All right, so. Looks like one of the hoses got pinched right here. It's a real short one. Luckily, I know a guy, and uh, I'm gonna take this off real quick, run up, get a new hose made, and put it back on. It shouldn't, it's a real short one, so it shouldn't be too bad. Just got the hose off. This spot is just a spot with bad juju or something because three years ago, about, actually it was a little bit earlier in the year, but it was completely snow covered. This spot, uh, we were trying to get the bobcat started and we were having one heck of a time. So I'm gonna take the hose up, get a new one made, come back, put it on, keep going. Just got our new hose, slapping this baby on, hoping it doesn't get pinched again. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I can hear the train down at the river right now, which means the air is getting heavy, which we always say means it's gonna rain. Don't put in this negative energy. It's now 4 a.m. on the dot. We are on the second to last farm and I'm just about wrapping it up. I got maybe 10 more acres to do on it, which I can do that in about an hour. Uh, Andrew headed it to the last field, uh, which is the British farm and it is the most chiseling that we have to do. So um, they are calling for rain at 10 o'clock this morning now. Uh, hopefully we can power through and get it all done. I mean, hats off to Andrew, because he just called me up and said, hey, can I hop in the 46? You want? Go ahead. He hopped in and took right off. He actually came to this field, but uh, this farm yielded the most. And you can tell that there's a lot of residue, because the other chisel plow, is, the case wasn't able to put the material through it, even after it was chopped. So. I uh, switched up, I switched with Andrew. He went and did that field of mine that I was working on. It just started into, and uh, I came and started tearing away at this one. Once we're done here, uh, we're gonna head to British, and then see how much Andrew's got done. He's gonna start up up with the strips up front first, and uh, I'm trying to get him to avoid the rockier areas 
um, mostly because I know where, exactly where they are. So if I can kind of pick and choose where he goes, and he can get a good start on British. And with the both of us working there, we should be able to finish that by 10 a.m. If I can get into good running on level ground, we can be going about 10 acres an hour. But my average is a little bit over 8.1. There's the field we're working on. Almost done. We're just hitting the waterways on the back side of this farm. I tell you what though, the auto steering for this tractor was worth every cent. Unfortunately, I had to split this video into two parts, so be sure to check back tomorrow for part two. Be sure to visit HowFarmsWork.com by the end of the day tomorrow to get your Christmas orders in to guarantee delivery by the 25th. You can save 30% on our store with the code VERYMERRY22. With that, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, all How Farms Work. And with that, I'll see you next time.